Let's go, soldiers. Keep moving. Go, go. go. Oh, yeah, you died. Ah, there's that insurgency scum right over there. Looks like they're plotting something up real dirty. That's all right. My gun will take care of Oh. Oh, no. Man, bullets. I guess my not a bow will have to do. Let's take out this one for before the new one. Yeah. Oh, dang it. I'm not a good shot at all. That's okay. Maybe I get up all close and personal and show them who's boss. Yeah. Oh! Oh no! Oh god! I don't have much time! Place them down! Get rid of these suckers! The insurgency is coming! Blow them out! Come on! It's not too late! I'm almost done with them! Oh gosh! Get back! That's right, at least I come out fighting! Yeah! Oh shoot, I didn't mean to die. Oh, well, whatever. Today I teach you how to make landmines. Hey, what's going on guys? Lug.zip here and welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video. And today we are bringing you landmines or claymores in vanilla Minecraft. Place these babies down, step on it and see what happens. Boom! That stuff mashes you up, I almost swore. That's terrible. <laughs> Anyways, this was a concept developed by Meep Juice, so please go ahead and make sure you check out their channel as well. Their link is in the description. And basically, what we are doing is, well, I'll just show you once again. You get some place bombs here, you place these suckers down, and they appear in the ground only slightly, and then when you step on them, oh, it's just nothing but bad news. And if one doesn't kill you, you know a couple will. So let's just boom. <laughs> Broke them all off. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna show you how to make these today, so I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, let's see if we can get 900 likes for the next Minecraft Redstone video. No, we can do it. But all that aside, it's actually extremely simple to do. This is everything it takes in order to make it, and I'm I'm also going to show you how you can make it go off for mobs as well. So this command block is simple enough. Um, oh, by the way, there's gonna be a map download. Don't worry. So what? I didn't mean to. <laughs> so this command block is simple enough. I need to get into creative mode first. Uh, this is just giving you the spawn egg. It gives you a spawn egg named Place Bomb. You can name this to whatever you want. It doesn't have to be named Place Bomb. Just make sure you update the rest of the commands that go along with it. What's up, Drum Dick? Anyways, uh, these two command blocks are just a simple fill, you know, redstone command block clock that constantly is making this redstone go. Not a big deal. Now, over here, we have um, the silverfish. What this happens is when you place down the renamed silverfish, it executes this entire command, which summons a minecart that is holding the TNT, which you know has it offset upwards so that it actually appears only slightly in the top of the block. Now behind here is these are the bombs basically. So what this does is when it determines that there is a rideable minecart from the previous command set down, it executes the following. It has a radius of two, and when you go nearby, it summons a rided minecart with a creeper inside with an immediate fuse that basically blows up immediately right as you sit, or right as you get right next to it. So now I'm in game mode zero. Let's get some more bombs. We'll place these suckers down. You put it right there, boom. Blows up right away. Um, obviously there's some minecart debris, but you can put in other command blocks to get rid of that as well. You can kind of hear the creepers going off, and um, I'll even, uh, I'll show you what's going on behind the scenes in a second here, but this final command block is just what uh, teleports, it gets the silverfish away from the general area once it all blows up so that you don't have a silverfish riding around. It's basically just transferring mob to mob. But the cool thing about it is you can actually change this to go from not just you, but to any entity or even specific entities as well. So all you gotta do is go do, go to the left of this command, as left as you can, the second at symbol. So at P, you wanna change that to at E, and then go through and then type in type equals the mob you want to do. So I think for this example, let's do zombie pigments, which are called pig zombie in the you know redstone command block code, you know, the Minecraft language. So you put that down. Make sure you change this one as well, otherwise you're gonna have some problems. There are two. So again, at E and then type equals pig zombie. Make sure you are typing exactly as I am as well. It's gotta be case sensitive and all that good stuff. You can keep the radiuses too, or you can make it even bigger if you really want to. So now what's gonna happen is we're gonna place down this place bomb. We're going to place down the zombie pigmen, and we'll, let's just push him into it. Push him, come on, there we go. <laughs> he got fired up, he got thrown all the way up there. And um, let's see, we'll just we'll just uh, spawn him right here first, and then we'll put down a place bomb. Yeah, so you can see the silverfish there real temporarily. We'll do one more, good measure. 
same same old concept right here with the do chicken perfect so now you place down a chicken bada boom the chicken hates you because you're blowing them up not a big deal you can see you can even see the creepers going off a little bit now um obviously there are a couple limitations to this um for the sake of the video i made it so that you can see the tnt quite easily but what's actually going on here is right underneath we got some glowstone which is lighting it all up and you can kind of make out you can kind of make out the minecart here. Let me, uh, we'll do it like that. So see, you can you can see the minecarts are kind of pushing each other. <laughs> you see them running into each other like that. And see, they're not blowing me up right now because I am not set to be one of the entities that does that. So it's really just minecarts holding TNT. And then once it detects whatever you set it to detect, it puts it off. You can even stack them just like that so you can have a mega explosion. <laughs> But either way, guys, that's about it for this Redstone video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out Meep Juice's channel. And, of course, if you want to see another Redstone video, let's even get 900 likes on this one. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will catch you for the next one. Whoa! Oh, my God! Either way, guys, thanks again, and see ya.